Hey there and welcome to the Resolume 7.20 release video. We've got a feature packed release for you. New stats, color types, pixel sampling, improved mesh and text rendering and a full overhaul of the wire tutorial system. As usual, this video will go through all the new features, upgrades and improvements. So let's get going. Let's start out with a banger. Resolume, Arena and Avenue got a new effect called Strokes. Strokes tells Arena to pretend to be Vincent van Gogh and go full post-impressionist on your video content and you even get to keep your ear. By playing with the variation and size parameters you can get various different effects from broad strokes to stippling. And the best thing about it is that the strokes effect is in fact made in wire. This means you can fork it and create your own version and then make modifications where you see fit. Resolume Arena, Avenue and Wire now all have the same hardware stats bar. The hardware stats tell you how you are doing on the CPU, GPU and RAM usage. The bar also tells you your current FPS count. The bar can be activated and deactivated through the view menu where it is called Show FPS and Stats. For Wire this is an addition, but for Arena it is a change. The Show FPS button found in the output menu is gone and is replaced with this bar. We are staying in the domain of statistics for a little longer with the Wire Nodes Stats panel. This new panel will show you a list of all the nodes in your Wire patch. More importantly it shows you how the load is distributed among the nodes. This is very useful information when debugging and optimizing your patch as it allows you to find the bottlenecks. Clicking on the name of a node allows you to center the canvas onto that node. Selecting either name, category, load or version allows you to sort the nodes in ascending or descending order by that parameter. Nodes that have instances will display their instance count in brackets after the node name. Nodes that have been renamed by the user will also have their original name displayed in brackets too. The search bar can be used to find specific nodes. Searching like this is the fastest way to find the node you are looking for, especially when your patch hits critical mass and becomes spaghetti. So we've added a shortcut for this too. Hit Ctrl F on Windows or Command F on Mac OS and you can start typing right away. All nodes matching your query will be listed. Click on the one you're looking for and it will be highlighted in the patch and the node panel. This shortcut always works even if you have the stats panel closed. In this update Wire is getting a whole bunch of color related nodes and a color type. Gone are the days where colors were represented as float4 type. The new system is much more flexible and holds more data for you to play with. The color and color in nodes now produce a color type. When we unpack that color we can see all the data. Besides the RGBA channels, we now also have access to the hue, saturation and brightness of a given color. And that segues nicely into the first two notes I want to show you. Color from RGB and color from HSB. These two notes allow you to create colors using parameters instead of the color picker, which opens up the door to more modulation and user interaction. The analogous and complementary color nodes can be used to calculate the color schemes of a given color, giving you quick access to colors that quote unquote work with colors you are already using. A really cool feature of the color type update is that some video effects will now accept color as an input type. Effects like grayscale, saturation, brightness contrast and hue rotate can now be used to modify an incoming color. And to round it all off, a much requested node has arrived with this update. The sample texture node is here. The node takes a texture in and returns the color of the pixel at the given coordinate. Sample texture either operates in UV coordinate space or in pixel space. An important thing to note with the UV coordinates is that 0, 0 is the bottom left corner of the incoming texture. I would say go out there and start playing right away. But we've got more cool stuff to show you, so let's move on. The code wizards at the Resolume Dungeon have been tweaking the mesh render and text render nodes to be more performant. 
In this little patch, I am rendering 5,000 strings at the same time and keeping a steady 60 frames per second. And in this patch, which is available in the video description, I am rendering 5,000 meshes at the same time. We expect to improve these systems even further in the future, so stay tuned for that. So you are not yet on the wire train, but you're getting the feeling you should hop on. Resolume 7.20 is the perfect time to do just that. We have redone the entire tutorial section, guiding you through everything from basic navigation to creating images from data and building interfaces for your plugins. Both Arena, Avenue and Wire now support basic mathematical constants. Additionally, we have added the radians and square root operators. So instead of creating a pi node, I can now just type in pi wherever I need it and, in this case Wire, will know that I want the number and not the cake. A full list of all expressions and constants can be found in the expressions article on our website, to which I will leave a link down in the video description. And that was it for the Resolume 7.20 release. We'll hope you have fun with it. Make sure to check out the full release notes in the video description if you want to know about every little bug, fix and tweak. And I will see you in the next one.